Hi, yeah. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to functions. In an exam paper, this is a lovely two, possibly three mark question in a, an on calculator, usually near the front. And it's really quite simple. It's basically um, to do with substitution and forming equations, which you've seen from first year, um, but put into a different kind of context. So the first thing I'd like you to, to do is remind you of function machines that you might have seen a way, way back when. And we gave you an input number. You did something to it, like perhaps times by two, and then we added five, and then you had your output number, which was your answer. We are going to be doing the exact same thing today, but not set out this way. I'm going to ask you to maybe substitute in the number negative three, you would times it by 2 and get negative 6, add on 5, and you would get negative 1 for your output number. In reverse, remember with function machines, if we gave you the output number, you started, he you started here with your output number and you worked backwards doing the opposite of everything. So you would have taken away 5 and divided by 2. We'll do the exact same today. So let me show you what I actually mean, okay? So here are some examples. This is a function. We pronounce this bit f bracket x, we say that as f of x, okay? So we have a function f of x equals 3x plus 5. f of x also, a lot of the times, is basically the same as your y value, okay? They ask you to evaluate or work out or find f of 2. Now, if you notice, all that's different is my x has been replaced with a 2. So to find f of 2 you replace x with the number 2. So you have 3 times 2 plus 5. And I'll use brackets instead of writing the times. It's a bit nicer, particularly if you've got negative numbers as well. So 3 times 2 is 6. Add your 5 is 11. And that is your work type, what f of 2 is. So it's another way of saying um, substitute in x equals 2. On my other one here, I have got f of x equals x squared minus 4. And this one, I'm replacing x with 2t this time. So everywhere I see x, I replace with 2t. So f of 2t will be, and I'm going to put brackets in, 2t, square it, take away 4. Now please remember when you square something, you have to square both terms. You have to square the 2 and you have to square the t. So that actually gives you 4t squared, take away 4. And we can't do anything else for that one. So that one's left like that in that expression. Let's do one more of that. It doesn't always have to be f of x. It can be g, it can be h. They're the three most common questions. You may even see an a, but most of the time it will be an f. So this one is f of it, uh, g of x equal. We want to find g of 4. So wherever I see x, I'm replacing it with minus 4. So g of minus 4 equals 2 times minus 4 squared, take away minus 4. So can you see why I put brackets in from a substitution now? It just helps deal with all these negatives. So we're going to work inside out. Minus 4 squared is 16. So we've got 2 times 16. Double negative there turns into a plus 4. 2 times 16 is 32 plus your 4 is 36. Now you may have maybe skipped either this line here or this line here um, to get to the 36. I certainly wouldn't go straight from there to there out of one of the other ones in between. Okay, so that is the style of questions they ask in the exam for two marks. That's the first style. So an idea could be, um, if you look at, if I show you my next, I have got six examples here for you to try. Um, I would, you could pause the video here and try these and then there'll be answers on my next slide and then after that I'll show you other style of questions. Okay, so in each of these you're just substituting in a number other than this one here where it's asking you to put in your 3t and just watch out for this one here where it asks you to do um, 2 over root x. It's asking you to substitute in and then rationalise so it's putting in a third question as well. And I, I just I sometimes miss the square root sign over the x with the format I'm using. So pause, go try these, and then check your answers on the next slide. And then come back for part two. 
Okay, so functions part two. So in old days when we used to have credit and intermediate two, there'd be a part A where it was substituting in and a part B where it was making an equation. Part B is you're working backwards. So it's working backwards doing all the opposites. We know the answer. We need to figure out what number we have substituted in. So let's have a look at how these appear in exams. So it will tell you f of x equals your expression 4x minus 1. It says find a if f of a equals minus 9. So the first thing to notice is it's not asking you to substitute in minus 9, which is the most common state mistake. So please do not do that. X has been replaced with an A. So the first thing I'm going to do is replace X with an A. And it's told you that F of X equals minus 9. Or F of A equals minus 9. So you can put your expression equal to negative 9. So part B is forming an equation. And then do whatever way you've been taught equations from there. I'll take the minus 1 over and make it a plus 1, which makes that negative 8. And then negative 8 divided by 4 is negative 2. So A is negative 2. So this style is forming an equation. Change the letter, form an equation. And they will always change the letter, so it won't be an X anymore. So watch out for that. So second example, we have F of X equals 16 minus 3X. It's told as f of t this time, so I'm going to replace x with a t first of all. So 16 take away 3t. It tells us that our function equals 22. So I'm going to put my expression equal to 22. Okay, from there, my negative 3t becomes 22 take away 16 is um, 6. And then 6 divided by minus 3 is minus 2. Pure coincidence that both some examples come out with a minus 2 as the answer. Okay. So hopefully that's enough examples of that style. It is literally doing your two-step equations from first year or second year, but presented in a different format. That's all this is. So again, I've got another six examples for you to try here. Each one, make sure you change the letter. So for the first one, you're going to change... The x to an a, you're going to put it equal to minus 16 and work out what your a is. So there's six examples. Pause, give them a try, and then you can check your answers on the next slide. Okay? Thank you very much. And there is your answers. Thanks for watching.